Welcome to getting started video of Organizer. Organizer is a service management software suitable for any service industry. In this presentation, we will take a quick tour of Organizer application. This is a beginner's guide to help you start using Organizer. In this demonstration, we will understand how to create card or service contract, how to manage preventive maintenance service, manage complaints, assign service call to technicians, service or complaint closure, track service status, and more. After you install Organizer, double click the icon to open the application. This is the login screen. Trial version has default login and password. Click login. Click I agree to continue. This is the main screen. In this demonstration, we will take example of air conditioning dealer. As air conditioning service mechanism is slightly more complicated than other service industries, we can understand how to manage preventive maintenance service. Let's begin with the functionality. Before we start with service, you can enter details in masters. Go to master. Let's begin with employee master. Here you can create users involved in service activities such as technicians, service engineers, coordinators, etc. You can also assign login ID and password to employee for accessing the system. Login details are optional. Let's check parent company master. Parent company also called this principal company is the supplier of goods or stock. Here you can add company details and its contact information. Let's check the product master. Here you can enter product details that we would be dealing in. I have created some sample products of various brands. Now let's move on to Customer Master. In Customer Master, you can enter customer details and contact information. You can also classify customers according to segment, industry or class. We are through with Masters. Now let's understand the service component in detail. We will begin with creating a new service contract. Go to Service. New AMC. This is Service Contract screen. Select Customer for creating contract. The customer details will be displayed automatically. Enter Serial Number of Product to be serviced and a brief about installation such as place of installation etc. Select region. Region helps you to determine and assign technicians on duty. Mention product specifications such as brand name, model, capacity of machine. Select contract type. Enter contract amount by default expiry period will appear for one year select preventive maintenance frequency select first service immediately if you wish to provide first service on the contract start date in this case it would be 6th November 2012 and let's save this a new card or contract number one is generated this card number can be used later for tracking complete history of the service contract. Let's check this in card screen. Card provides entire snapshot of service and contract details. Go to service card number to view card details. Enter card number and press enter key. The general tab shows contract details. The service pending tab will show you services that are actionable. Since our service contract frequency is quarterly, 
you can see, for services that are pending. You can modify these dates, if required. Service Done tab will display service that is already done. You can also view, billing details. Now let's check how to assign preventive maintenance service, to service executive. To assign service. Go to Service, Assign. Here you will see list of pending services, till date. To assign service for future dates, filter data using search option. Select, Service to Assign. Click, Assign. Select Technician, who would be attending service. And Save. Now that we have assigned service, it will not appear in pending list. After service is done for a particular date, it needs to be tagged as closed. To close the pending service, go to Service, Solved. Here you will see list of pending services till date. Select, Service. Click, Solved. Enter service details such as, service attended by, and remarks. Save the record. Now since we have closed the service, it will not appear in the pending list. Let's check how to manage complaints. The workflow, for managing complaints, is similar to preventive maintenance service, which we discussed earlier. Complaints, can be managed for customers, who are in service contract, as well as for one time call, that is non AMC, or non warranty customers. Now let's understand how to manage complaints for customers, under preventive maintenance contract. Go to service, complaint, whenever, customer calls up for, complaint, you can ask for the card number as it becomes handy to get the entire details about customer in fraction of seconds. You can validate whether the customer is in warranty. Enter card number and press enter to view details. Expiry date will appear in red if the contract has already expired. Enter contact person. Since the customer is under preventive maintenance contract, Warranty type will be blank. Select complaint type. And save complaint. A unique number is generated for each complaint for easy tracking. Let's assign complaint to service engineer. Click on service. Assign. Complaint and service assignment is done from same screen. Hence, you will see both, service and complaint data here. You can use search option to filter data for complaint. The process of assigning, complaint is similar to service assignment. Select, complaint. And, click assign. Let's close this, and move on to complaint closure. Let's close the complaint. Click on Service. Select Solved. In this screen, you can close the complaint. This list shows complaints assigned but yet to be solved. Select Complaint from Pending List. Click Solved. Now, the complaint is closed. After one year, when contract becomes due for renewal, to renew contract, go to Renew AMC. Enter old card number and press Enter. The details of previous contract are displayed. You can edit these details for renewed contract, such as change the amount, select service frequency. Let's save these details. A new card number 2 will get generated and old card number will be cancelled. The old card number details 
would be maintained in system for reference. So if you wish to trace historic details of customer, you can easily do that. Let's check how to view details of old and new card. Go to Card Number screen. Enter new card number to view details. In Remarks, you can see the old card number. You can view previous card details by navigating here. So even if you have 25 cards created over a period of time, you need not remember old card numbers. Just enter current card number and you can navigate to old cards. Reports gives you the insight of service performance. The reporting tool offers flexibility to perform operations such as group, filter, aggregate, and sort. The data in report can be exported to Excel for further visualization and analysis. To view reports click Report. Reports. The entire data entered in Organizer is available in Reports. Select Report to view the details. Functionality of report is simple, similar to Excel. You can filter, group, and aggregate data. This data can be exported to Excel. You can use this data to build custom reports, pivots, mail merge, etc. Organizer safeguards your data within built, backup, and restore facility. It prompts you to backup when you exit the application. Organizer has other additional features such as Serial number wise, stock maintenance. Multiple billing options. Track payment status. Access control to define user rights and privileges. With Organizer, you have option to host your data in cloud or in your private network. Well, this is it about Organizer. Hope you find this product useful for your business. To download and to know more about Organizer, visit spinso.com.